I am glad to see you. You fill me with peace. Ah, you help him. Your open heart surprises even me. You bless me. You bless us all. I am glad to see you. Her eyebrows shoot up. There can be a way. Amiro knows. But he is gone. Do you see him? He knows how to leave. She nods quietly, as though she knew this all along. He is caught by those who hurt him. I wish so much for his return. And he tells you what you seek. A way out. You bring me great peace. Thank you, my friend. I miss him very much. I see something that helps. I see a lizard. He is a lizard of many dreams, of far feeling. You do not free Amiro without him. Ah, you help him. Your open heart... You bless me. Thank you for your help with that, thug. Where is the human who goes against their own for an elf? She smiles, warily. I won't forget your aid, friend. Perhaps I can be of aid to you. I hear of no escapes. The only way out is through. Through the Magisters, through their cure. Thugs, I can stand, but oh, I fear the Magisters. It gives me great pain. I'm with my family. We are making beautiful magic. We are healing a tree cut down with great violence. The Magisters come. My family runs, but I fall. My son looks back. I shout to him to run. I am taken. In this cave, we trust Sahela. She is young, but she sees. She knows more than we know. In the camp, the brute Griff rules. He who gives the bread has the power. Wait, before you go, I am not here without your help. I do not forget this. For you, a prize. I save it for a special occasion, but I can think of no finer occasion than this. Thank you. I magic you, you're dead. I feel him, but I do not see him. You cover your face with your hands. You've just heard the news. The elven homelands have been destroyed by death fog. It was your order who did it. How can this be? You stink. Um, no. I'm a lizard. I just didn't grow my scales yet. Yes, you were. Now get human. What? Back, evil ogre, or I'll get you with my sword! This time, beast, but don't cross me again, ever. <laughs> You're really fun. Hey, I'm gonna hide somewhere in the cave, and you come find me. Ready? Go. again. Ready! Go! I 
friend would really, really, really like you. Come on, I'll introduce you. I know how to spell introduce. It's I-N-T-R-O-D-U-C-E. What's this? I found something. She's really smart. You'll like her a lot. Please, small child, leave me to my ruminations. But she's really nice and tall. Maybe she can even help you with that thing. What? A grown friend? You've brought an adult here? Good. Good gods. Can it be? You! Tell me true. Stand you with the Source Hunters, or do you serve the tyrant Bracchus Rex? A thousand years. Gods, the walls of this pit have leached a whole millennium from me. I haven't seen a living soul in all that time. What a strange notion. A wicked king, it was. Bracchus Rex by name. The Order of the Source Hunters discovered a great horror upon this prison isle, and I was sent to stop it. Yet, my failure was absolute. I am not fit to bear the insignia of the Source Hunters any longer. Please, good sir, you must free me. Prize this spear from my chest, where it has been stuck fast for the last thousand years. Seize the spear. End this degradation. I... Good sir, you have set my body free. Free to crumble to dust at last. But my spirit... Blast! I remain trapped in this mouldering skeleton, yet. A spell most terrible. I have heard of such magic, but have never known anyone so foul as to employ it. Bracchus Rex. May maggots lace his entrails. After he interred me in this cell, he must have drawn my very soul away from me and stored it elsewhere in the fort. Thus, he has bound me entirely to the mundane realm. But I know this place well. I could lead you to its likely location. In turn, you would find a path straight out of this fort. My freedom for yours. What say you? Marvelous, my friend. Marvelous. You'll first have to get inside the fort itself. There's a secret switch on a statue of the Seven in the courtyard. Surely you know it. The switch will open a hatch and you'll be led into the prison's main floor. I suspect that within Bracchus's phylactery room, you will find the container which ensnares my soul. He has likely disguised it well, but search there for another hidden switch. Bracchus would have made me a supplicant, a slave to these walls. With your help, I'll die, at last, with dignity. Fort Joy is a dangerous place, my friend. Dangerous indeed. Bracchus used this place to build an arsenal of terrible weaponry as yet unseen in our world. Here, he and his researchers crafted punishments and snares contrary to human dignity. Objects that could contain souls, ones that could purge the very essence from sorcerers. My order would never have used such barbaric magic against our enemies. I was fully briefed about this awful place before I came. My goal was to destroy the fiend who had been marshalling the world's most unwholesome weapons and magic 
into an army he intended to use against the realm. I never thought I would become one of his victims. And yet, here I am.
this again. Sibiu gently places a hand on the small of your bag. Her mouth reaches your ear with a whisper. Let me have a word with the gentleman, would you? I've a little clue to follow up on. Sibiu steps forward and asks Griff the cook about the lone wolves. A dead little birdie told her he's the man to talk to. A little back and forth ensues. Money crosses hands, and before you know it, Sibiu stands back beside you all smiles. Thank you. We should make good on our escape, you know. I have to see a man about a wolf in the hollow marshes. Naught but a whelp in skillful hands, I'm sure. Zalaskar's his name. A name for the taking, if it comes to that. Like you wanted. Griff glances from his blade to you and back again. Griff tears into one of the oranges with both hands. Juice squirts through his hands as he desperately rips through the rind. Looks like everything's accounted for. Now the important question. Who's the thief? He raises an eyebrow. Looks like someone did my job for me. Your guy's free to go. He should be fine. <laughs> Eventually. It is done. And quickly. I thank you. Very, very much. I hold my end of the bargain. I show you the way out. But I have something more to ask of you. Sahela, she is... She is everything. A ruler, a seer, a knower. A child. She cannot... <coughs> cannot... Be lost here. It is for all our people. For... The world. Give me your map. <coughs> I show you the way out. A secret. Dangerous. But it leads to freedom. I give you this amulet. You must pass it to the elves who still remain. Tell them Sahela is here. They will send help. Please. She is important. I go to her. I wish you good luck, and I thank you for us all. Special shipment you was asking. Worse after. than war rations, these. Stick your coin then. If a magister finds us on you. Ah, you're back. Oh, it's so good to see you, mate. You look. You know. Heading into the kitchen? Don't try anything funny around Griff. I'm watching you. Ha! Cheeky! What's your name? I'm Butter. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you think? I was raised by the whip, 
and I'm not afraid to use one either, especially not in here. Joining up with Griff's the closest thing you can get to security around here. And family too. Till the Reds take you, anyway. Everyone talks a big game when they get here. Big games get smaller when you've got one of their weapons in your face, though. She laughs. The sound fills the air like the ringing of a bell. Now, wouldn't that be something? Look, I have an idea. I know we don't know each other very well, but time is so short and... and the connection is so rare. <laughs> if we get out of here, will you meet me again in Arcs? She leans forward and grazes your cheek with her lips. Until then. Nice and slow. Psst. Hey, you're a little light in your pack, ain't you, mate? Who can blame you with the garbage they got for sale round here? Ain't fit for beasts. Why don't you take a gander at the goodies I got? Stuff you won't find anywhere else in camp. Procured by special means. Hey, oh, nice try, Midge. Now, uh, put that shiner away and I'll shave a little off the top, how about? Still on your feet, eh? Glad Perhaps to hear it. Bleeding dwarfs did Feel free so to much. take a gander at the stock, if you're so inclined. Scared, are ya? Go on, Danny Hatch. Perhaps if those bleeding dwarfs did me so much. The woman looks up as you approach, wiping her brow with a grease blackened hand. What do you need? So, what's the news? Well, I certainly got lucky with you, didn't I? The way out's nice and secluded. It starts in a little hidden alcove on the beach. Give me your map. I'll show you where to go. And hurry, not a tick of the clock to spare. This way, in the back. Follow me.
Teleport me down to the ledge behind me, near the tree stump. I'll bring you right after. Oh, we're almost free. Can you taste the ale? Oh. Hey, hey, over here. Now, come towards me. I'll teleport you down. I just need to see you clearly. Come close to the edge as you can, friend. Simply perfect. Now, teleport me to that mossy rock across the gulch, just by the torch. We're almost there. You think this is a game? Well, good luck escaping without me, you sodding ringworm. He hasn't changed a bit. I only mean that if you think about it logically, he's much better off. Leave it, Sam. I won't say it again. Come on, chap. Don't please. Excuse us. You're talking to me, not him, Sam. Oh, for the love of Lucian, Balladeer. You're acting like a madman. Say it again. What you said about my wife. Go on. Piss off. Go on, Sam. Well, it's the truth, and you know it. She's better off. So what if it was messy? I'd rather puke myself to death a thousand times than let the Reds get to me. If she were my wife, I'd be happy for her. A flat smile twitches across Balladeer's lips. She never did like you. Bastard. Please. You're talking of- Oh, for the love of- Say it again. What you said about my wife. Go on. Go on, Sam. Well, it's the truth. A flat- She never did like you. Yeah. <laughs> 